Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the Gold Biddies, and if you get the reference, then you are legendary. So today we'll be playing Terraformers. The Red Planet Awaits. So this is a uh, base building survival strategy type of game. Um, we're, in, we're gonna go into Mars and try to terraform it, build a new colony for humanity. It is on sale on Steam right now, so if you want to try it out, it's a lot cheaper right now, you better grab it. So, let's start the game and test this game out. Here we go. Love the soundtrack. Alright, here we go. The Red Planet Awaits. Welcome to the Mars Colonization Project. A small step for the first colonists, but a giant leap for mankind. The shuttle has landed and your people are ready to settle on the Red Planet. Everyone on the ship is aware of the historic importance of this mission and the great responsibility resting upon their shoulders. Their lives will be spent beneath the domes of artificial habitats, but they are not here for themselves. They are here for the future of the human race. It will be a long time before a human can breathe Martian air, but everyone is willing to work tirelessly to make that day arrive. Earth has sent resources to start a settlement and proposes some leaders to represent you on Mars. Good luck. Okay, let's do this. So we got some resources here to start. Mars, new frontier. The red planet offers many opportunities to those seeking a new life. Your goal is to create a self-sustaining colony that provides pleasant conditions for human population and may one day even become independent. When the bar is full, victory is achieved. Okay. While developing your colony, pay attention to the support of your people. If it reaches zero, the Mars Colonization Project will be deemed a failure. Okay. Um, keep your people's support by constructing buildings that provide support, growing your population, and terraforming the planets. Every few years, the expectation of the colonists will rise. You will need to keep them satisfied for this mission to be a success. Let's start by choosing a leader. Okay. So I have to keep this above zero. Okay. All right. Let's choose the leader over here. So we got Bekai, Ayad, and Thomas Foster. What can you do? Industrial lobbying gives us resources and this thingy, which gives support. Oh, I guess this is good. Gives us support. Pretty cities. Okay, let's do that one. What about this one? Increase your silicate productions, supply station, and what is a supply station? Oh, okay. Mine resources. Oh, cool. Okay, I think I'll go with. Pekai first. Let's go. Alright, nice to meet you. I am Pekai. Yeah, let's get to work. We've seen the population would let us expand our city and get some initial support. The population requires food. Earth has kindly provided us with the essential projects to produce food and grow our population. Let's visit our city where we can construct the greenhouse farm. Okay. Wow. I like the I like the color here. Yeah. Can we scroll around? No, we can't. Oh, Okay, that was right click. We can't scroll around the area. Oh man, it would have been better if we could. This is our first Martian city. Here we can construct buildings. The maximum amount of buildings the city can have is shown above the city name and is then dictated by its amount of population and robots. To construct a new project, but this is like a project and drag it to the place you want it built on. Let's build the green farmhouse. I think this is the, yeah, this is the maximum buildings, okay. Greenhouse farm, okay. Uh. Uh, I guess I'll just place it here. There we go. As you might have noticed, constructing a project costs resources. Should explore the nearby locations to prospect for more resources. Ideally, you should find a resource deposit and set up a mine. Okay, click on this one. And let's click on this one. Silicate deposits. Okay, got some silicates as well as some small hints of tritium. Great, we found a deposit. We need to expand our city to location with the deposit before we can build the mine on it. Okay. We don't have enough food. Alright, let's end the turn. But turn okay, so let's end the turn here. And there you go. Each year, three projects will be proposed from which you can research one. Oh, the projects are the buildings. Okay. Research project allows you to construct it later once you have the resources. Huh. Uh, do we have energy? No, we don't have energy. I think let's go with this one. No, we have some energy for later. Increase your population. Okay. Uh, here you go. Hibernation module. Let's put it here. That yeah, they're all connected, you know? That yeah, they're all connected. It makes sense. Whoa! Some stuff just appeared at the back. What? 
don't get it. Why did it do that? Is wait, 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 hold on. Is this what it's supposed to look like? And then this is like just an interface for us. And then this is what it looks like. Cause that's this headquarters. It's over there. See this? That's headquarters. Then the greenhouse farms are here, and the habitats are this one. This this dome thing. Huh. And then this thing, is that this? Right? I don't know. Okay. Alright, right mouse click. Okay. Um, expand to a location, construct a mine. Expand location has resource spots. Okay, here you go. We'll expand here for silicates. And we can build a mine. A mine! Alright, there you go. Now we have a plus one in our silicates over here. Okay, that's good. Okay, what's next, boss? It. Tutorial's over. I have to play on my own. Oh no, I'm on my own. On my own. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, I already got that. I already have the mine up. So what do you want me to do now? Uh, I guess we can do this. Let's explore some more. Uh, what this one gives give us some um, nitrates. It's empty. It's empty. Situate, situated the high plateau. Okay. Okay. This one's. I think when this blinks, it means that we can no longer do it. We can no longer do anything else. Tuber farm gives us food. I think we should prioritize food because our food production is plus one. We need more food. And then let's get some more exploration over here. Got some nitrates as well. <gasps> A lost supply of crates gives us ten food. Okay. Now we have a little bit of food over there. Is there anything else that I can do, sir? Uh, um, no. Okay, that's it. Alright, next turn. Oh! Earth has established a permanent trade route with us. With regular, regular traffic between the two planets, we can expect our colony to burgeon, to burgeon and grow as long as we make the journey worth about the Earth-born travelers. Okay. Um, I guess we'll need... We'll need a habitat module again. Alright, there we go. And, uh, what else can I do? Um, hopefully this will give you some nitrate, please. Exploration. Location is of scientific interest. Resource area revealed. Yes, there's a deposit of nitrates. Perfect. There you go. Alright, let's get that. I guess we can build a mine here, but we need some nitrates and we need the population. That means I need to add a lot of food. Okay. Uh, robot, 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 laboratory, a laboratory. Huh. I guess I can do this instead. Don't research. Gives you plus science. Yeah, let's just do science instead. Trade with Earth. Okay. Earth, give me food. There you go. That should work. Great. Okay. Got it. Wait a minute. Can I use this? One water. Titanium creature. Yeah, this gives me all of the things that I need. Let's do that. Okay, there you go. Next. So it's a turn-based um, base building. Exploration satellites from Earth. To help with our exploration effort, Earth delivered an array of exploration satellites to the Martian orbit. This allows us to map out remote regions from the comfort of our homes without having to send an exploration team to the unknown. Oh, cool. All right, how do we use that? Uh, this one gives uh, plus seven support per turn. I think we're going to need that. Uh, or windmills. Hmm, this is tough. I wonder which one should I get? I think I'll get the hospital. I only have plus two on my support. That's not good. All right. We got some satellite here, so let's test it out and hit the this one. Flat plains, plenty of space for construction uh, construction of a large city. Oh, okay, but lack of the protective geographic features. Ooh, and we can build a base here, but it's on flat plains, which doesn't have natural defenses. What is this to? Plus three to support. Nah, I think we're okay without that one. Let's get some more resources. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Uh, eco homes. I think I'm gonna need that, but 
<laughs> a robot uh, plus two robots okay let's get that one okay we can we can build it <gasps> we can build this one too okay uh, uh, let's, let's build it away from our uh i, I want to put my residential in this area so let's build these stuff here so let's build a tritium thermo generator so that we have um we're, we're, we have some power generation and then let's bring in some robot hub so that we have uh, two more population i think yeah we got two all right we'll place one here in the nit nitrates deposit so that we can build a mu no <laughs> i'm out of nitrates uh let's then this let's import some nitrates there you go and let's get this one as well sorry titanium i need titanium Where do I expand this? Here or here? High plateau. I don't need it yet, actually. I can build another tuber farm. Okay, let's build that over here. There you go. So now we have plus two on our food. That's good. That's good. All right. Our city slash colony is growing, my friends. All right. Rising expectations. No! <laughs> Minus five? That's huge. Minus five is huge. Plus two. That costs water. Okay. Uh okay. Soil factory. Okay. Let's get the soil factory. This bar represents the chance that your people's expectations will rise in the next turn. The further it gets to the right, the higher the chance. Oh no. Oh no! Our support is negative! Okay. How do we freaking uh replicate that i need some support buildings i need this hospital built right now that's what i need all right let's get this let's get some more of these uh, next turn give me something that gives me support please dang it nothing nothing this one will give me support there you go plus 30 support i'll keep us alive for 10 turns Three nitrates and two titanium. All right, I can build something here. There you go. I can build a mine for nitrates. All right, awesome. Wait, our name is Wet Caldera? That sounds weird. Wet Caldera. Wet? It's not even wet. You know what? Let's name this uh, Tiga Tig. Tiganopolis. Tiganopolis. There you go. Or, or Tigoria. Never mind. No. <laughs> Tiganopolis sounds fine. Tigana. Oh, why is it Pilis? Tigana. Polis. There you go. Tiganopolis! Okay. Uh, I don't think a lot of my um, inhabitants would be too ecstatic about having being named Tiganopolis. Uh, I need food. Six nitrium and two silicates. Tritium. And it's a tritium deposit! Uh, I'm thinking if I should... <gasps> oh, this is cool! Wow! This is cool! They're underground, dude! Lava tube. Cool. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? I can expand. Can I, do I expand north or south? Later. Don't need it yet. Uh, here we go. Photovoltaic field. Bonus plus one power per turn if there's a high location. <gasps> yeah, I can use this because I have a high location thingy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? I'm going to sell this one. I need more of those science. We're going to go here. And we're going to build this one because it's on high plateau. This should give us two energy. There you go. Plus two energy. So now we have plus three energy. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's explore some more. Like example this one what is this mm. no, it's nothing it's nothing okay all right this year marks the beginning of a new term and it is time to choose a new leader each unique okay okay so this person is retiring we now have to choose between gustav mirzoyan or george Jometo. This guy's all about artificial intelligence, generates five power. Tumor projects, prepares this turn, gains three science, okay. What about this? Increase your science population by every six robots you construct, okay. What about George? 
Earthrix and modular apartments and this thing. Hmm. I think I'll go with Gustav for this one because it's because of this thing. Innovate. I need some. I need some of that. Uh... Oh, school. Yeah, I got a minus three on support here. Um... Huh. What is our play here, guys? We need. Why can't I do this? What? You know what? I'm just gonna explore instead. Uh, let's explore here. I wanna conquer this place. Canyon view. Viewpoint tower. Plus one comfort of living. Okay. I wanna conquer this lava tube. It's cool. But it's only gonna have access to this and this. So that's not really good. Um, as an investment. Huh. I think we're good. Right, next turn. Resource support. To increase their prestige, three big corporations are offering to set up a trade route and supply a city of your choice with a valuable resource. Oh! What do we need? Do we need nitrates? No, we don't need nitrates. Uh, do we need wetland silicates? No. Yeah, we can do. Tritium with me. Good. Okay, let's go with tritium then. Ah, exhaust processor. One silicate for every three mines owned by the city. Whoa. Not that one. <laughs> uh, public public bats will be really good. Look at that. Plus five turn per turn. That's good. Da -da 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 -da. All right. What's next? Okay. We can survey again. Oh, here we go. Got a crater. And food. Yes. Okay. The question is... Um, this location will be submerged. Okay, we're not going there because it will get submerged. What about this one? High plateau. Flat plains. Okay. <sighs> Should I go here? You know what? Let's explore one more time. Black sand dunes. Harvest black sand. What do we do with the harvest? Polar CO2 ice locations can be mounted for free and without radiation effects. A, a nuke would be a nuke? <gasps> wow. Uh... Oh, okay. I guess this would be good for us. Okay. Um. Okay, I don't know what to do now. Ah, hospital. Yes, we need a hospital. Plus seven support per turn. And I think the school would be better for this one actually and uh, you know what i don't need please st stop doing this to me please uh, maybe we can export this and add the silicate because i want the school here yeah i want the school there however i think when we can expand but i don't know where yeah let's delay for one more let's uh landing Ooh, a landing pad Laboratory, a robot hub. All right, let's get the robot hub as well. Just so now we can prepare to expand here. <gasps> More food! All right, let's go expand here then. All right, we're expanding here, guys. No, we need 10 water. I only have. Ah, oh, dang it. Uh. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. All right, you know what? I'm gonna put you here in preparation for that public bath. There you go. And I can expand over here. Okay. What else do we need? Robot hub. I want the robot hub in my next one. My next uh, city. Wait, I just took one city from you. Now you can only have Two, two slots. <gasps> Large tritium deposit. Yeah, we should go there. All right. Uh, enter. Whoa, Marsha housing. Fully protected from radiation. Cool. Thirty food and five tritium. Titanium. Sorry. Ah, yes. Greenhouse farm again. I need water! That's our biggest problem right now. We don't have water, my friends. You know what? You know what? I want to import some water. Uh, I got my silicates. 
Yep, we did. Let's plant it here. Now, yes! Yes, our support has gone up. Thank God. <laughs> Alright, we're good with silicates. Let's import some water. We need some water. Start thinking about finding a new city. Okay, we'll find a new city. Okay, I'll listen to you and we'll find a new city. Uh, let's go here. <gasps> it gave us water. <gasps> this place has water too. Let's go there. Okay. Terraforming initiation. Earth suggests we s initiate the terraform. <gasps> Ooh, we're gonna start terraforming. They provide us with CO2 factory to pop up. Okay. Good. Entertainment. Oh, entertainment center. Android hub. Three robots? That's a lot. Wow. That's pretty good. Okay, should I get the entertainment center or the robots? Uh, I think I'll go with the entertainment center for now. We need that thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can put that entertainment center over here. This provides three per turn. So I can put three um, populations here. Right? Uh, I actually don't know. Well, I'll put it here instead. Uh, can build that thing. Yeah, oh, this is where the terraforming stuff are. We need to always make them go up. Okay. Um, I guess I can put this here since there's no one living beside it. That means we have one atmosphere and one heat per turn. There you go, plus one, plus one, and this one's gonna take 57 turns and 37 turns to actually make a change. My, it, it, uh, what? It, oh, the level rises by one step. Okay. So 30 is one step, I guess, for this one. Yeah. Reaching the next level will increase the rain in every climate zone by one step. Okay. Reaching the next level will raise the ocean by one step. Oh, ocean and rain. Cool. That's nice. Yeah. Rain is, rain is good. Let's open this one up. An aquifer. Okay. Yes, you can get some water from here. That's good. Crater. All right, this is where we're gonna build our new house. I mean, our new, our new city, a <laughs> new house. <laughs> we're gonna build our new city here. Um, it's far from the first one, and we are going to maximize this water, this large tritium deposit, and these two other um, areas over here. Okay, let's do it. I can do it. Public baths. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I. <laughs> I didn't think this through. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna reserve that that um, that water for the for the food because we need we just need eleven food and we can create a new city over here. Let's go. <gasps> landing pad again. All right. Uh, I think we can use a landing pad so that we can get more food. Oh, planet location. Oh, I have to base it here. Okay. One trade route. Right, there you go. Okay, now we got a landing pad over here. We can trade more. Give me food. I will. There you go. Right. Oh wait, no. I don't think I was done yet. Dang it. Nuclear. Nuclear oxygen. Jeez. Increases radiation in the city by one. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. Uh, what is this? One nitrate per turn for every three population in the city. Composting. Slowly. Is it because people take a crap and they're turning it to something else? The nitrates? Like bats, tuber farms. I think tuber farms would be good. And let's put this farm over here. There you go. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Oh no, it takes five? Wow, that's expensive. Oh, you know what? Yeah, give me some energy. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna use that for the next round then. There we go. We're 24 minutes in. Ooh, bioengineering progress. Scientists, sci scientists, scientists are making progress in adapting life to Martian conditions through bioengineering. They've been experimenting with different genetic variations and now present you with their two most promising candidates. This gives us one heat. This one gives us two atmosphere. 
I think I'll go with this one. Another landing pad, laboratory. You know, I guess we can go with the landing pad again. Can I just need two two more? We can do it. And right, let's open this up. It is rocky plains. We can collect. There's nothing, absolutely nothing in here. Uh, location will be submerged if the ocean rises to. Oh come on! Is there anything we can do about this? Uh, the dike. Um, adds one dike level. Each dike level protects the location against one ocean level. Oh, okay. We can protect it against the oceans. Let's use this here. And I think we can now found a city. Ah, we need food. We need food. Okay. Next turn, we will build our new city. There you go. What does this do? Oxygen. Oh, an oxygen factory. <gasps> plus, oh, this gives plus three support and one food. That is good. I think I'm going to get that one first. Food is important. Fertile soil. Food producing buildings on this slot produce one food. Okay. Uh, let's create this one. Let's call it... Uh, uh, the... The Betty's Colony. <laughs> the Betty's Colony. There you go. And we will place it over... Over... Why is this plus five? Is it because of this? Oh, it's because of that, yeah. Let's place it over here. And then let's put, let's put a food... Uh, what? A food facility over here. So now it gives us plus two food instead, right? Uh, and then um, I think that we can put a population thing here, but we don't have it yet. Yeah, we don't have it yet. Oh no. Okay, time to explore. Uh, you can under your latest options. Oh yeah, you got this back button. All right, let's explore for some water. Two water. Flat plains. Hey, look, it's another one. <gasps> Ooh. Click the what? Where's that button? I don't see that button anywhere. Mm. Oh, comfort of living is minus two. Let's not build it there. Mm -hmm. I agree. Let's get some water over here. I need that water. So we're going to expand there. But we need... A home. That's not. That's what we're lacking. Uh, robot Ingenuity Center. Oh, cool. Magnetic Fusion Plant. What the heck? Two power per turn. Courthouse. You know what? I'm going to sell it instead. And we're gonna keep exploring. Mm. Mm. Here, large titanium deposit. There you go. That's that's good. That's a good one. Okay, so we got some terraforming going on. Um, we're importing some water, and we can do this thing: greenhouse farm or the public baths. Uh, oh, we can do another landing, landing pad. Aha. But we don't have any opening anymore. This guy can still expand here and here. Although if we expand one out, it's going to give us minus one to support. That's not good. Oh, we started an action here. Okay. All right. We're going to go with the uh, Marianne Fay Fayid or Fade Robotics. Uh, drone hub. A drone hub for free. That's nice. Three projects. Gain plus four science. Increase your power production by one for every four power you start producing. Global warming! Mind venting. That doesn't sound really good. Uh, import CO2. Import CO2. Okay. Prospecting tour. I think I'm good with this person instead. Yeah, I think I'll go with this person. There you go. I went with her. School research center and a CO2 factory. I think we're good for now. Let's put it on here. All right, we can expand again. And bam. The titanium deposit. Okay, I really need to put some people in here. 
You know what? This person can do a drone hub, so I'm gonna drop a drone hub in here. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you for that. You already told me that a while ago. <gasps> Why can't I do it? Oh, crap. Yep, I need to unlock these first. All right, I'm gonna put a drone up here. So that means I can expand here and create a mod. Now I need some, I need some, I need some energy. Okay, next round then. And bam. Uh, ooh, what is this? The Donley group. One science per turn, more food. You know what? I'd rather not get involved. I mean, these things are like power moves. You know what I mean? Let's go here. Eco homes! We can now build eco homes. Finally, we can build something on this. Still no energy. <laughs> I'm done energy. All right, let's take that out. Take that out, take that out. And let's see what we can give. Let's give this, this, more of this, and this. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going here, and I'm gonna build a home. Here. Plus five. Hmm, not bad, actually. It gives plus three, right? This gives plus two, yeah. Ta-da! Now we have- Oh, I didn't expect that to be so small. Oh, it's the same one that pops out. Okay. Same building. All right. Comfortable living, plus two. From natural sight, plus three. Housing, plus one. Okay. What else do we need? Uh, we can build a greenhouse farm. Or we can expand to the large tritium deposit because we don't have any. Yeah, I think we can go with that for now. Oh, that's expensive. See that? Um, and then let's go with this and go with here. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for today, guys. Uh, I didn't notice we've been playing for about 30 minutes. This is a good start to the... The TIG! The TIG colony! Expanding to the Bittis... <laughs> the Bittis colony. <laughs> it's gonna be our main city though. I, I like to make this our main city. And then we'll expand a little bit and how many points do we still need? Uh, oh man, we're only at 59. Okay. Still lots to go. We haven't even uh, changed any of the atmosphere stuff with terraforming. And we only have two cities so far. But this looks great. Um, although there's not much action going on, I like the simulation part of the game, wherein you have to, um, well, of course, it involves resource management. Although the randomness of the card is a little bit challenging here, um, but still, I'm enjoying it so far. And this grid type is pretty interesting. Um, and of course, resource management and managing this this support thing. Um, it looks easy right now, but I'm expecting it to get harder because of the expectations growth thingy. Oh, there, so effect of the next expectation is minus 10. I don't know if it's going to be if it's going to be minus 10 or it's going to minus more 10 more, so it's going to be minus 15. So we're going we're going to find out next on the next video, but that's what we have so far. So Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe. It won't take you a few seconds to do so. And it's going to be a huge help for the channel. And I would really, really appreciate it. And I guess that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Good luck. Have fun. And remember, be legendary.